Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Miniconda in uh, GMAP so that we can start doing coding using Google's engine and the Python uh, API. Okay, so uh, let's get started. First, um, in the previous uh, video, I already show you how to get started using Google's engine, the JavaScript API. So you can go to my YouTube uh, channel and uh, Spatial Data Management. So this is uh, the first video um to get you started using the javascript api but uh we for this course we're going to focus on the python api and we're going to use the gmap uh, python package that i developed so uh we're going to use this tutorial to show you how to install uh, everything that you need to uh, get started and to do uh, uh, programming with uh, the python api so uh, first of all uh, you need to install the uh, anaconda or miniconda so uh, if you have not uh, used Conda before, uh, it's basically a Python package management so they can create virtual environment to uh, install all kinds of uh, uh, different versions of Python for uh, doing software testing or uh, other uh, purposes. And uh, so in this video, we're just going to use a mini Conda. So if you already install Anaconda on your computer, uh, that's fine. But uh, I'm just going to show you uh, here, just type uh, mini Conda. Uh, on Google, and then when you are here, uh, the first uh, search result, Mini Conda, just click, and from here, depends on what uh, operating system you are using. Here, I'm using Windows, so I'm just going to install Python 3.8, and you just need to click. Uh, it's going to download to that one to your computer. If you're using Mac, then you can download this one. So uh, using the base or uh, PKG uh, packages. Once you download the package, then you can go to the downloads folder. Uh, you'll be this one, mini corner, and just double click. Uh, it's take a couple of seconds, and then next, accept. Uh, you can just uh, use all the default settings. By default, it's going to install to your uh, user directory, and then uh, mini corner three. We're just going to use the default settings, and you can just see uh, hit default all the way. And once it's installed onto your computer, you can go to your user directory uh, under your name. So there should be a folder here, mini conda3. And this is the one uh, where everything is being installed. Later, we're just going to create some uh, new uh, uh, environment uh, that we can install uh, GMAP. Okay. Just hit next. Finish. Okay. And we are done with the installation. Next, we can go to um, the start menu. And from the start menu, you should be able to see Anaconda 3, 64-bit. And there are two items in here, Anaconda Prompt and also Anaconda PowerShell, uh, PowerShell uh, Prompt. We're just going to use this one. If you, you are using a Mac uh, computer, you can use the terminal. So um, just open your uh, Mac terminal. And then from there, you should be able to uh, just type uh, Conda. So, uh, in this example, I'm just going to show you how we can find out what kind of environment that we already uh, install. So you can just type conda env list. Uh, this one will show you uh, what kind of a Python environment you already install. So just to give you an analogy, why do we, do we, 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 why do we want to use this? So think about when you have some software packages that uh, you, have, you need to test multiple versions. They say if you're doing GS, for example, uh, you want to install ArcGIS or QGIS, but ArcGIS, you can only install one version on one computer. Uh, if you need to use multiple versions, you need to uninstall the package and then install the other version. So uh, that's not very uh, uh, helpful. So sometimes you want, you want to create a virtual environment to install and test multiple packages. So this is what Conda is useful. Uh, although, Earlier I saw you, we install Python 3.8, but you can actually create any Python version that you need. So this is just the base environment. As you can see from this in here, uh, you can see the uh, the parentheses at the beginning of uh, this uh, 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 file pass. So that one indicates uh, the Conda directory. If you directly open a terminal, for example, you just type CMD uh, on Windows, if you open, you won't see this one. You won't see the base uh, at the beginning because uh, we haven't um, activated the Conda environment. So if you open using an Conda prompt, by default, it's automatically activated Conda based environment. So that's why you're seeing in here. 
and next we are just going to create some new uh, virtual environment uh, think about like the base environment is your house and then within your house you can have multiple uh, bedrooms just for like for each individual and those bedrooms you can do whatever things you want to do within that uh, room and then after you're done you can actually destroy the one and then release uh, basically release uh, everything so you can delete, clean up basically and um, this is very helpful especially if your some of your project rely on multiple versions of uh, python or even uh, packages uh, packages so uh, it's it can also help you deal with all kind of a software uh, package dependencies so next we're just going to create a new environment so that we can install the gmap uh, package so uh, for now you don't have to worry too much uh, so this is google's engine and um, the gmap package is the one that i developed it to make it uh, easier for you to do uh, programming using the javascript uh, python other uh, the uh, uh, os engine python api so if you need more information you can go to the gmap.org but for now um, we're just going to install so you can also take a look at the installation uh, section uh, show you here the example so you can fold just copy and paste uh, if you want so i'm just going to come back to here just to show you how we're going to install you can directly uh, before we do that we want to create a virtual environment so they uh, we don't mess up the base environment right so we want to do that in a, in an isolated uh conda environment so first let's just conda uh create uh hyphen n and that means the name of the virtual environment and then ge then you can just type python so uh in this case if you just type python you will install the latest one uh 3.9 and right now there are some uh, uh dependency issues with 3.9 so we can just type equal 3.8 so we just use a uh, python 3.8 uh so in that way we don't have any uh, installation uh, issues and uh, it should take only a couple seconds then just type y and then hit enter so this shows you what kind of packages uh, are going to be installed on your computer into this uh, virtual environment once we are done with this one then we can uh, follow the instruction to activate just think about in your house if you want to if you already create a bedroom right you need we need to get into that room in order to do something so all we need to do is just conda activate uh, ge so this is the name of the room right or is the name of the environment once we get into that then we can use for example conda list to take a look at what's right now what's available within uh, that environment so because we only ins install the basic uh, python version so this is 3.8.5 we haven't installed any additional packages yet so you won't see a long list next uh we want to install this one so this is called mamba and it's basically a a fast alternative to uh, conda conda takes a while actually to resolve the dependency sometimes it takes forever so I highly recommend this one. Uh, all you need to do is just conda install Mamba. So C uh, indicates a channel. So this is basically just think about like uh, an app store. Uh, you can install something from the software package uh, repository uh, called conda force. Uh, if you don't know, you can just type uh, here conda install. Basically, we want to we want to install this uh, package called Mamba, and then hyphen C uh, conda hyphen force and once we have this one then we can wherever you want to use conda you can just use mamba to install anything so uh it's much faster so just type y hit enter and um, it might take a couple seconds uh, and after that we only need to execute the last line so uh see You can also follow my previous uh, uh, tutorial, but uh, that one because I made maybe a couple months ago, and so might be a little bit outdated. Uh, you can just follow this tutorial to uh, uh, install the GMAP uh, package. Okay, uh, it's done. And so the next one will be Mamba install uh, GMAP hyphen C Honda. Pause. Hit enter. Uh, so it's right now it's resolving all the dependencies uh, because GMAP depends on a lot of other uh, packages so uh, it might take some time to actually figure out what needs to be installed and what kind of version so that they can be compatible okay as you can see uh, it's a long list in here let me see if you can uh, maximize so this is the entire list 
I, it's, it's going to take some time. I'm just going to type Y, hit enter, and it's going to download all the packages and to install on your computer into that uh, virtual environment uh, called GE. And after it's uh, finished, then we should be able to um, start doing coding using uh, GMAP. And scroll down, going back. You scroll down. I'm going to uh, pause my video. So once it's done uh, installation, uh, I will come back. Okay, so now the installation has uh, finished. Then we can start doing uh, testing. So uh, first, we can take a look at the package that's already installed into this environment. We can again type conda list to take a look at the list of all the packages. And you can scroll up to see, for example, find uh, the GMAP. It's here. Uh, version point um, 08.8 and there are also a, bu a bunch of other dependencies uh, so um, you don't have to uh, worry too much right now all we need is just one uh, the gmap uh, package so once um, we uh, finish the installation then we, we can open a uh, Jupyter notebook uh, to, to test uh, the gmap uh, package so all we need to do is just type Jupyter notebook hit enter uh, then it's open a uh, Jupyter notebook on your browser. So you can also maybe go to uh, it's not here um, Because you install a uh, mini corner anyway, so once you uh, Open a uh, Jupyter notebook, then you can start creating um, A Jupyter notebook. So for example, you can you can just directly click the uh, upper right corner and there's a Python 3 so you can click here if you want, you can also create a specific folder. For example, in folders, uh, you can get into any folder that you like. Um, and then you can also create a new folder uh, in here, right? Click and then new folder. So you can create one uh, specifically just for, uh, for your uh, project. So I can also, for example, I can create a new folder. And I can, uh, in here, I can rename the folder to uh, GEE. Similarly, you can also just create a folder with using the your file uh, browser. So I can uh, my name. You see here the folder. This is the one we just created, right? And then you just click into the folder. So I click again. Uh, you can just hit this one, Python uh, three, and uh, it's done. So right now we have this one. If you go to the folder, you will also see the untitled .ipymb. So we can just change this one, for example. Uh, test e map oh typo so anytime when you change something here on the notebook it's going to be automatically reflected on the file name in here so this is the name we're going to use and then we can just simply just uh, do the testing to create an interactive map uh, using um, gmap so all we need to do is type import gmap and then hit uh, Alt enter or uh, control enter to execute and once it is it's imported then we can just type a uh, map uh, uppercase equal to ge map dot you can hit tab if you want uh, hit tab on your keyboard when you type dot uh, it's going to automatically show you all the functions available for the the package so, and also the classes so we're just going to use map uppercase parentheses and then again alt enter on your keyboard uh, if this this is the first time you are using google search engine on your computer uh, it might pop up and ask you to authenticate so you just follow the instructions to authenticate and then paste the authentication authentication code onto a Jupyter notebook and then you should be uh, good to go so usually after you authenticate there should be uh, something under your user directory and then uh, probably somewhere um hidden uh, this folder so will be conda uh config doc config and then os engine so your credentials will be saved here on your computer uh if you have this one uh, you only need to authenticate once and once this file is created so next time google's engine is just going to retrieve the uh, credential from the, this file anyway so once we create the map next we're just going to show the map and you can just type this one okay so here we have 
uh, this is the, the map, the interactive map that we just uh, created just using three lines of code. And uh, in uh, in the next uh, video, I'm just going to show you how we can start doing some um, data analysis or even display and uh, analyze data uh, from the Google's engine cat, uh, data catalog. But for now, uh, you can just simply, for example, you can also do searching. You can take a look at some of these uh, buttons. You can, you can also on the right here, you can uh, change this. Okay, so you can also uh, add a different uh, base map if you want uh, there are a lot of uh, base map that you can uh, choose from so here i'm just going to show you uh, some buttons you can also uh, for example maximize the map if you want right this is just a by default uh, the google map um, and there are a lot of things you can do using this one but uh, for this video i'm just going to simply show you how to install and uh, test the packages so once you are done you can hit uh, save uh, click the button so it's going to save the notebook uh, again to your computer. So go to here, and then the GMAP folder, uh, it's still under here. So if you close this one, uh, next time you can open again, uh, it should still be there, okay? But you need to re-execute again, because by default, uh, it's not going to save those uh, widgets. So uh, you can just click a sale, one all. Uh, it's going to create this one one more time. You can also restart your kernel. So I can click kernel and then restart and clear output or restart and run all so if you click this one and then just hit this uh, it should be able to just um read one this uh, from uh notebook okay so i can just close i can just hit save and close i can also close the entire browser so once it's closed i can also uh close the anaconda prompt and uh, then it's it's done so next time if you want to reopen this one you cannot write double click here to open this one uh, using the file editor so you need to go to again anaconda if you're using mac computer then you use uh, use your terminal so you can uh, open your terminal uh, on your mac computer and then just type conda uh, this one is not recognized so uh, you but if you install using mac it should be recognized so for windows i'm just coming to here anaconda prompt and one more time so we can just type conda activate uh, ge so if you don't remember the environment that you create you can conda env list uh, to look at the the name of the environment so you'll be uh, ge so all we need to just conda activate ge and then type jupyter notebook it's again open uh, jupyter uh, on your browser and then you navigate to the folder that you uh, you like and then again click the notebook it's open and then you repeat the same process uh, you can kernel restart or you can just uh, sell run all and then you should be able to create the uh, interactive uh, map uh, in here so in the future video i'm going to show you how to use this uh, for now uh, this is uh, for this video uh, just about the installation how to get um all the software dependencies that you need so that we can start doing uh, some data analysis uh, in the next uh, videos okay so i will see you in the next video here yeah.